purpose of this video is to demonstrate how we can leverage Excel, or any other spreadsheet for that matter, to quickly modify or produce tools that can then be used inside of HSMWorks. To start, I've already opened up HSMWorks and I have one of my existing libraries active. We can see here I have three tools. I'm going to go ahead and shift select all of those tools, right click, and select copy. I can now activate Microsoft Excel, right click, and select paste. You can see I've pasted the three tools from HSMWorks into Excel with each column being one of the tool properties and each row being an instance of a tool. From here, we can write formulas within Excel to create new tools in each row. To demonstrate some of the possibilities, I'm going to switch over to an Excel worksheet that I've already created, leveraging some tool geometry information I received from a tooling manufacturer. On one sheet, I have the raw data sent to me from the tooling manufacturer. This includes diameters, descriptions, and part numbers. Another worksheet contains cutting speeds and feeds data for given tool diameter and material combinations. Finally, on my first worksheet, I'm marrying together the geometry information with the speed and feed information using VLOOKUP formulas within Excel. There's an extensive amount of documentation on using VLOOKUP tables, so I'm not going to get into that at this point. However, I will make this Excel spreadsheet available for download so you can look at how I've accomplished what I've done. To note a few things within this spreadsheet, we can see that I have a dropdown for each of the material types that we're referencing within the VLOOKUP table. So by changing the material type, the column that's driving the cutting speed and feed will automatically update for the given material. With a material set, I simply need to select all of the columns and rows containing the information that I want to move back into my HSMWorks tool library. So I'll select in this case 852 tools, right click, and select copy. Of course, we're now going to switch back to HSMWorks, move to a new library, and use Control V to paste those tools in. The real advantage now is I can switch to Excel again, change my material type, again copy the tools, move back to HSMWorks, in a new library, and paste those tools. So I've duplicated all of that tool geometry with updated speeds and feeds for my new tool type. What I'd like to show you now is how we can leverage those multiple material specific libraries to update all of the speeds and feeds within an HSMWorks file. Here I have a simple part with several tool paths on it that was programmed for aluminum. Let's say for example I was changing the material that this part was going to be cut from. I'd simply select the tool library to display all of the tools. If I move down to my libraries and select the tool library for the other material, I can simply hold control on the library and drag and drop that library on top of my part file. HSMWorks will then let me know it's going to update all of the speeds and feeds within this part file to use the speeds and feeds from the library that I'm replacing it with. I can click OK, and my speeds and feeds for all of the operations have been updated. Well, with that, I hope I've demonstrated some of the power and flexibility of HSMWorks tool libraries.